Welcome to my Mortgage Moment channel on YouTube. I'm Mark Taylor. I'm a licensed loan officer in Arizona and California, and I wanted to talk to you today about the FHA loan limits for 2012 that are in place for Maricopa County. Down below, you'll see a blog link that will explain all of Arizona loan limits as by different counties, they do change. So what we're going to talk to you about today is how an FHA loan is qualified and what the loan limits are. First and foremost, the loan limits were increased and then reduced at the end of last year and then put back in place uh, due to popular demand and pressure on Congress to make sure that we could accommodate all the home buyers out there. So some people are a little confused. It had dropped down to a maximum loan amount of 281 and it was brought back up to its original limit of 346,250. Hold on a minute, Mark. That's an awful big loan amount. What does that mean in terms of buying a house? Well, that means the maximum purchase price on an FHA property is 358, 368. So just think about 358,000 as the maximum you can buy. Putting three and a half percent down gives you a 346, 250 loan amount. You need to know with FHA, the seller can pay up to six percent of all of your closing costs, which makes it a fantastic loan. You also may know that your down payment can come from a gift from immediate family, close friends or relatives, and the full 3.5% and closing costs can be gifted. Please note the seller cannot pay for any of your down payment, nor can your realtor, so don't ask. <laughs> you also need to know that 640 is the minimum FICO required to get an FHA loan. But we at AmeriFirst Financial have uh, some special programs that allow us to lend as low as a 580 FICO, still with a 3.5% down. So that's some good news. You also need to know that we're able to lend up to a 50% back-end ratio. If you watched any of my other videos, you'll know the difference between a front-end and a back-end ratio. But a back-end ratio is your proposed housing payment plus all of your debts and obligations on a monthly basis expressed as a percentage of your gross income. So in that analogy, if you made $10,000 a month, we could only lend you 50% uh, of that, so a total of five grand. If your proposed housing payment was $2,500 and you had $2,500 in monthly recurring debt between credit cards and cars, um, that would be the maximum that we could lend you. So that's kind of how it works. You also need to know that we do have an FHA program that allows for open collections with no limits on them. They don't just have to be medical collections. And if you want to get more information about FHA and how precise uh, of a program it can be for your particular situation, make sure you look at the blog link below and uh, we'll get you that information right away. So if you haven't done so already, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. The button's up here or up there. I'm not sure. But please feel free to subscribe so that we can give you the latest and greatest updates sometimes before the public gets them. My number is 602-361-0707. And again, my name is Mark Taylor. My email is mark at awesomerates.com. Thanks.